All right, it says, the speed of an electromagnetic wave traveling in a transparent non-magnetic substance is given by the equation below, where kappa is the dielectric constant of the substance. Kappa would never be less than one. It's gonna be one for a vacuum and slightly above one for air. Uh, but materials that are more dense, uh, the kappa can be substantially larger. Like for example, in this problem, they're gonna ask us about crown glass and it has a kappa of 2.31. So that's gonna substantially slow down the speed of light when light travels through that medium. First, let's go ahead and calculate what the speed of light is in a vacuum though. All right, so for that, we can use this formula, but for a vacuum, assume that kappa is one. All right, so if we plug that in, we'll get one over the square root of one times mu naught times epsilon naught. That is the permeability of free space and the permittivity of free space uh, respectively. All right, so in this special case that um, kappa is one, we're gonna be finding the speed of light in a vacuum. One over the square root of mu naught epsilon naught. We wanna plug in what we know their values to be. We can use four pi times 10 to the minus seven Tesla meters squared per amp. And then we'll have over here, it's 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. All right, so let's plug that into calculator. Okay, I'm getting approximately 2.999 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Which, if you look up light speed, you'll see that it's uh, it's commonly given uh, to be about that. Now, of course, we're rounding here with these constants. I've only got three sig figs, you know, in one of them. So you could really say it's about three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. All right, that's light speed in a vacuum. And that's what we would put here. Next, we want to see how fast does light travel in a different medium, in this case, crown glass, where the kappa is 2.31. So we just do the same equation, but in this case, we'll throw in 2.31 here and then we'll do times 4 pi e minus 7 8.85 e minus 12 and let's see what that gives us all right so from that I'm getting about 1.97 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. As you can see, it definitely slowed the speed of light down substantially. And that's a fairly high constant there, 2.31. Even water is just like 1.3. So. All 
All right, so which statements are true? Light can travel slower than its speed in a vacuum. That's true. Light always travels at the same speed regardless of the medium. No. Light cannot travel slower than its speed in a vacuum. Wrong. Light cannot travel faster than its speed in a vacuum. That's actually true because kappa is never less than one.